Welcome to Ja Advisory. Master yourself, master the universe. Hey everyone, Jamal here. Today I wanted to talk about some of the challenges that we might face when working from home and working from school. I'm not going to talk about the obvious, like staying focused and stuff like that, but some of the things that uh, I had to deal with when I did schooling online, I did years of middle school, high school, and college online. I've done both. I've done uh, live classes uh, where you actually go to school and uh, online classes. I've also spent a lot of time working from home. So these are some of the challenges that I've had to overcome in my experience. First one is working too much. Now, a lot of people think, oh, you're working from home. You're doing school from home. You will work less. But what happens is you never really get a chance to fully disengage. Um, and this will go into my next point as well, which is uh, setting, setting the right space to work but not really getting the chance to disengage, not having a set schedule makes it harder to stop working. And so we might forget to take breaks. We might keep on working and working. We just want to finish a certain project. And next thing you know, it's 10 o'clock at night and it's time to sleep and you've been working all day. To overcome this, just set working hours and stick to those. Try and stick to them as best as you can and stay as focused as you can within those hours. And beyond those hours, try not to put any energy towards your work. Try to take some time for self-care, time uh, if you have family, to time spend time with your family. If you have friends, spend time with friends. Although I know that's kind of hard right now. Um, if you have any hobbies, engage in those, um, cook a nice meal for yourself. There's a lot of things you can do other than work. The next thing is setting up the right space to work. And this goes along with setting the right times to work. You want to set up a nice space where you can work that's separate from where you do other things. For example, you don't want to just stay in bed all day and sit with your laptop and do everything from bed. And that goes for other things too, like make sure to get up in the morning and take a shower. Put on a fresh change of clothes. Don't sit in your underwear all day because no one's going to see you. Or maybe only you put on the top half and forget about the bottom half because no one's going to see that. Uh, make an effort to, to get dressed for work and to set a specific space where you're working. That space is dedicated to work. And that helps to get your brain into the right mindset for productivity. The next challenge we face with homeschooling or working from home is not enough social interaction or maybe not enough diverse social interaction. And what I mean by this is if you're around, let's say, people that are close to you, like family, then it can be very difficult if you're around your spouse, if you're around your children, if you're around your parents all day and those are your only social interactions, that can cause a lot of tension between the two. It's almost like spending too much time together, which is not healthy either. So to overcome this, if we can't meet up with our friends, with our, with our social support group, whatever that looks like, if it's a sports team, if it's a club that we, that we join, maybe for a hobby, for example, it could just be playing cards or mahjong. It could be anything. But try to connect with those people in other ways. We can engage over phone, over text, live video. There's so many options out there. But try to diversify your interactions there. Also make sure to take out some alone time. And that might sound a little weird because you feel like you're already spending a lot of time alone working and then you spend time with your family, with your spouse, and what happens is you might not get enough time to spend with your own emotions, your own thoughts, your feelings, and process what you're going through in any capacity. It could just be the task you have to do throughout the day or how you're feeling that day. But it's important to take some time out 
for yourself. And the last challenge I'll talk about is doing the right self-care. That is, taking care of our bodies and our minds. What I mean by this is we have a different sense of accountability when we are working from home. Maybe you don't have to be on video for anything and you don't feel the need to work on your physical appearances. You might not change your clothes in the morning or take a shower. And at the end of the day, these things are only detrimental to our health mentally and physically. So even though we're not getting the same level of social accountability, we should still make an effort to take care of ourselves in all aspects. Make sure you're practicing proper hygiene, make sure you're keeping a healthy diet. All of these things still matter when you're working from home or doing school from home. These are some of the challenges I've encountered when working from home. I hope you find this helpful and I'm open to any questions or comments you have. I'm happy to share my experiences with you guys. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends, and have a beautiful day, everyone. Be well.